And he's like, this is where I'm gonna send you if you divorce me. <laughs> Fantastic. Fantastic, that's great. And how was your room? Fantastic, good. This is great, yeah. this is great. Good morning, everybody. And uh, it's been a struggle so far. I'm trying to find brewed coffee. It's all I want. And so far, no go. You can have those iced coffees that it's not really brewed. No brewed coffee yet. I'll even take a three in one with a pot of hot water. Even the 7 Eleven was sold out. So maybe, maybe I'll find some. But uh, today I'm heading out to a special place here. Still staying in town, don't worry. It's still a conception. It's gonna be exciting. I'm even trying the little sorry stories on the side of the street. He could sell me one, but he's like, I got no hot water, I got no cups. <sighs> I'm still looking for coffee. I've driven kilometers. I'm pretty sure I went too far. It's like country roads. <laughs> Well, I made it down to this port, um, which I believe is the one I need to find a boat that can take me over there. And there's a there's an outpost over here. And uh, yeah, and so you can see this thing going all the way. I believe that's the coal. Yeah, I think it's coal for the fire power plant up here. Something like that. Hey guys, how are you? I'm trying to figure out how I get to that sandbar island right over there. Sandbar? Yeah, sandbar. sandbar. You know where the boats to go there is? Boat? Yeah. I'm not that good of a swimmer, so I gotta take a boat. I got a boat. Yeah, so is there boats that go to that island? Well, shocking nobody. Uh, they want uh, 3,000 pesos to go from here to there. Yeah, yeah. That's the island I'm supposed to go to. Right straight ahead right there. It's about a kilometer. The camera makes everything look further. All right, candies. Hopefully they have real coffee here. And not just the mix with water. Hello. Do you have a hot coffee? Hello, sir. Yes. Oh, thank yeah. you. Finally, everybody's got the milk tea stuff, but not the coffee <laughs> coffee, you know? Yes, I would love a coffee. All right, so this is what I've decided. Um, I looked at pictures of the island, really beautiful and everything, but to go solo, I'm not sure the vlog would be that exciting. So to have like last time when I did the island hopping, you go as a group made a lot more sense. So no matter even if I got a better price and I went hunting, I think I think the best thing for the vlog would be to go down and I saw a place when I was driving up here and it's called, my, my Google map says it's Ajui, but I don't think so because Jays in this country are silent. So it'd be Ayui, something like that. Or yeah, I'll ask the local. Anyway, when I went through there, it was pretty bustling and pretty big. So. And it's right on the water also and everything. So I'm gonna go down there and let's check out Ayui. Let's find it. Well, I really enjoyed my time here in this town. It was actually, it's a really quiet um, type of town, really peaceful here. And it'd be great if you had a place with your own boat and go off to these islands and everything like that. My gosh, it'd be amazing. Such a joy to be here. Wait a minute, does that mean they use the J as a J? Because they don't think it's such a oi to be here. So maybe they do. Maybe it is a Jewy. I don't know. Let's go find out. I'm just landed in town here and I'm right at our Mississippi Hall where there's like a nice little park where people are sitting around hanging out. Because why not? It's actually really cool today too. It's very windy and not very hot out. This is nice being by the water it probably helps so their municipal hall is you know pretty nice looking pretty modern and right across the street of course you're gonna have the church and I did see there's a heck of a lot of students all over the place so I have a feeling there might be a college or something like that in this town guess we'll find out 
Oh, it's an interesting church too. It's uh, kind of like a mix of modern. Let's see if I can cross the road over here. One thing about the Philippines is you always want to check out the church. They always have one and they're all different. Hello. Hello. There's like five of them on that motorbike. Oh my gosh. So there we go. See, so it's like a mix of uh, one of like, like the mega churches you see in the United States and a little bit of the old with the chapel here. I bet it's absolutely massive. Oh, look at this. Of course, they're getting a brand new public market. The photo is blurry, it's not the camera. Um, but that's what it's gonna look like, I guess. So right now under construction, like most. Hello. It's a pretty nice house. I like the wood. Hi, how are you, brother? Wait. Welcome to Ahoy. Thank you. Is that how you say it? You know me. Yeah, All right, so. I'm Petik Republic of Ahoy. Oh, fantastic. So, yeah, it, so. I'm, I'm friend of Agimat. Oh, really? Yeah. Agimat. Wait, he's here right now? No. He's in Iloilo. Okay, I was going to say, you pointed and I was like, is he in there? Yeah, this is my home. Um, oh, this is beautiful. I'm just saying, I love the wood. Oh, thanks. thanks. Beautiful. How, how do I say this town? Uh, Ahoy. Ahoy. Yeah. Okay, fan. On Google Maps, it says, yeah. when you when you use the voice, it says, a Jewy. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, no, yeah, Jays are silent here. Yeah, They're yeah. H. Yeah. Ahui. Did you went to our municipality? I did, that's where I parked. Yeah. So I've been walking since then, okay. making my way down. Yeah, All right, yeah. so maybe you could help me though. So you have this area, right? It's a populated area. Yeah. You're gonna have the, the new market and everything else. Um, and then you have where the Gasano is, right? That's another uh, area? It's in the, another town, Gasano. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I'm mixing it up. There is no... My bad, my bad. But That's in Sara. That in that resort, we have a lot of destination here. Right. Well, here you, you also have, like, down by the water, there's a lot, right? Down, like, down. Uh, Along the water. Uh, there's a... There's coastal a... area. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know anything. Uh, we have Sri Lanka Beach Resort. We have okay. Altamar. And then we have nearby. Okay. Uh, Alta, uh, Villa Margarita Inland Resort. You have a lake there. Okay. And there's a Japanese uh, structure. Oh, very cool. Very cool. Uh, it's a small town. It's a small town, okay. Yeah. And uh, so there's, is there any party places you go to at night? Uh, I don't think so. No, no. Because I also live in Iloilo. Oh, you do? Yeah, yeah. So you're just, you're just hanging out a few yeah, days? Okay, okay. All right, fair enough. So this is your family? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Sorry, I was like, you look a little young for a nice house like that, my friend. <laughs> All right, fantastic. Hi. All right, well, it's also awesome. So awesome. Nice, Thanks nice. All right, we'll take care. take care. Thank you. Care. Thank you. Bye. That was cool. That was cool. Better idea. It's Sara that has the Gasano, which is 10 kilometers from here, and it, it's a you know the big one. But I wanted to uh, try to stick to the water side just to see what it's like down here. You guys all know probably from my vlogs that I'm a big fan of uh, trying to find a place to live by near the sea and uh, still have access to different things. And my rule is like one hour to the major things that you'd like. I'd like to be one hour to a city, but uh, but major things, like I say, the shopping malls, and some of the things that you kind of miss um, if you grew up, you know, in the West or whatever, you're so used to these things, just being able to get them. Hello. I don't think I'm gonna run into any bakeries today. That was yesterday's vlog. All right. We got a little bit of a sidewalk here at least. A little narrow one. Canada! Oh, do I want to speak Filipino? Salamat! Salamat! There you go. They want me to speak some Filipino. I gave them a whole salamat. They were, they were happy about that. They were excited. I, I do got to learn one day, you know, like I said, in May 1st. When I move into a new place, I'm gonna start taking lessons. So this is that municipal hall. To Ahui. Hello guys. Hello. Hello. Good afternoon. Good I'm just touring the beautiful town of Ahui. Thank you very much. Yeah. And I'm gonna go down to the waterway soon, you know, down by the sea, be able to see some of your I guess resorts that you have along there or something, and your beaches. 
And uh, yeah. Where are you from, sir? Canada. Oh, okay. Welcome to Ahoy. Thank you very much. I feel very welcome. The mayor welcome. is there uh, upstairs in the second floor if you want to meet our mayor. Oh, is he up there? Yeah, the second oh. floor. Oh, okay. I'll head on up there. Why not? Let's go say hello to the mayor. Oh, I love the look of this place. It's so bright. It's so huge. It's a little town. All right, office of the mayor is right here. Wow, wow, wow. Hello, hello everybody. Wow, there's so many people in here. How is everybody? Doing good? Doing good? Wow. Michael. Canada. I'm a, I'm a YouTube vlogger from Canada. So I'm just checking out Ahui. So that was really helpful. They, what they did is they told me that they have an island barangay of about 500 people total. And uh, so I'm gonna go up there and they told me it's like 20 pesos to take the boat. So way, way better, way, way better. Can you say Ascenso Ahoy? Can you say Ascenso Ahoy? Ahoy? that's our tagline here. Oh, I saw down there, but it's in English down there. And, and it says joy and I was like, oh, maybe they pronounced the J then. Because it wouldn't be, it would be oi, not joy. So, I like it, I like it. And it's your like hashtag and everything. All right. That's our municipal mayor. I don't, I don't see anybody. <laughs> okay, I was like, maybe, maybe this was your mayor right here. Oh, he's over here. Oh, thank you very much. Why don't they give me a whole book? They give me a book. Yeah. Whole booklet of everything in here. Yes, Fantastic. That's our... Hello, Mr. Mayor. Hello. Hello. Sorry, Mayor. Jetsy Rojas, sir. Ross? Yes. Oh. I am. I'm from Canada. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I, although I've been two years in the Philippines. And I've been traveling around. Every couple of days, I'm in a different town. And I, and I show it on YouTube. Um, to my audience. Yeah. You look uh, familiar because uh, once we had an American friend yes, who really looks like you. Really? Yes. Wow, well, I'm Canadian, but I kind of look like American. Long time ago. Wow, wow, that's been some time. Well, uh, this is so far, I just got here, I'm going to be honest, like 10 minutes ago. Mm -hmm. uh, but I drove through when I was going to Conception and then I said, hmm, when I'm done over in Conception, I got to come back here and visit because it looked really beautiful. and. Thank you. It feels alive. Does that make sense? You know, like, it feels alive. Like, people are everywhere, and it just seems like there's a lot of action here, that kind of thing. So what can you tell us about Ahui, Mr. Mayor? Ahui is, of course, uh, like what you said, is a beautiful town. Uh, the population is more than 50,000. And uh, our land area is uh, not small, not too big. It's like uh, 17,500 hectares. Okay, does that mean it's a second class? Second class. Second class municipality. Second class uh, Very good. municipality. And uh, the sources of income of the people in Aul are mostly from fishing and uh, also agriculture like uh, rice, corn, little of sugar. Mm -hmm. yes. And is there a, a big tourism aspect here? Uh, we only have like uh, local tourism in the municipality. We don't have uh, five-star hotels or sure. resorts, just for uh, local tourists. Right. What about island hopping? Anything like that? Yeah, some uh, uh, destinations they provide uh, services like uh, island hopping. Okay, so very good. That. Now you may not know, but I would love to know, Mr. Mayor. Um, what is the average price per square meter in this area? My, my, my viewers are mostly foreigners yeah. thinking of moving to the Philippines, right? And so they, they care about cost of living, you know, quality of life, those type of things. Yeah. It depends on the location. If uh, it is along the national road, maybe uh, 1,000 per square meter, like that. Yeah. Still yeah. Yeah, that makes sense though, along the national road for sure. But Agricultural uh, obviously be much cheaper. And yeah, areas uh, far from the main road, national road like the mountains, 
you can buy properties for like uh, maybe uh, 10 pesos, 20 pesos per square meter. Oh, that's a really good price. Yeah. yeah. But you might have to build your own road to get no, to no, it. No, no, no. No? Uh, not really many are uh, with a uh, road, but uh, not so maintained because it's difficult to maintain uh, all weather road. Fair enough. Yeah. yeah. In the mountains. Very and difficult to maintain. What would you say along the coastline? Along the coastline, it's uh, more expensive, uh, maybe like uh, 1,000. You're mm -hmm. lucky if you can buy uh, 500 per square meter, you are very lucky. Yeah, yeah. But uh, you can still get uh, 1,000 to 2,000 per square meter. That's really good for yeah, water. Like, like uh, there is a subdivision in uh, Malayu, not far from here. Uh, the owner offers uh, 1,000 square meters for uh, 4,000 per square meter. In a subdivision, that's really good price. Uh, that, that, that was a, a road. Along the highway and also along the coastline. Oh, I think I saw that yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. When I drove in, I was like, hmm, that's that's pretty nice actually. Because yeah. you just good. look out, it's just water. It's beautiful. It's uh, good if you can promote our municipality for uh, investors. Of course, yeah. of course. We want to invest in uh, tourism. We have beautiful island. Fantastic. The people here are uh, friendly, and uh, this is one of the most uh, peaceful municipality in the province of Iloilo. Yeah, and I think uh, when it comes to Iloilo, it's just booming as a whole. It's doing very, very well. As the city does extremely well, so does all the other municipalities that are out around there because well what happens to the cities it becomes so developed that people want a place outside of the city or they take vacations outside of the city so it makes sense as it does better everybody does better uh this is not uh, far from the airport yeah uh the southernmost uh, barangays uh, maybe will take you like private car huh? mm -hmm. one and a half hours okay uh, northernmost maybe Two hours. Wow, okay. Okay, there you go. Yeah, and and no, no traffic. And wait, how far is it to Roja City though? Uh, from they have an airport from too. Here, maybe two hours. two hours. So it's about the same. Yeah. You're like in the middle. If you want to go to the airport there, you want to go to the airport there. Yes, two of the big cities, right in between. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Mayor. I thank can't you. wait. I'm going to go see your barangay out on an island. Yes. Happy to see you. Yeah, it's my pleasure. Definitely my pleasure. So, show. guess what? This is the. The tourism Axel. Tourism staff. Sorry, tourism staff. Yes. And your name's Axel. Yes. Like Axel Rose. Yes. Can you yes. sing like Axel Rose? Yes. No. Whoa. He's a very good singer. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. He's a very got, good singer. I got a celebrity taking me. He's gonna come with me to that island, which is gonna be amazing. I like on a speedboat, so I don't even have to take the 20 peso boat, <laughs> which is fantastic. Uh, All right, let's go. Hello, guys. Awesome, awesome. All right, who's coming? You're all staying? All right. The mayor's like, oh, listen, the pretty girls can come with you if you want. I'm like, yeah, sure, let's go, but I don't think they want to come. They're too shy. I lost Axel. You know when they say things happen for a reason? Um, I can see the sand uh, island that I tried to get to this morning, right where, where I am right now. And so they're like, yeah, yeah, after this, we can take over there. So I can still go there. This all kind of like worked out together, right? Yeah. It's awesome, awesome. So yeah, it's right over here. The wind is really strong. I've got this wind cover you thing mean on the there. Island? Yeah, that one right there. That's okay. Sandbar Island, right? There's Sandbar Resort. One, the Marina Island. All right. Wow. Where's the one that the people live on? Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna be going over there. Fantastic. And uh, there's like a bunch of people that live on it, which is so cool. But we're in this little barangay. I thought I'd take a look while there. the boat arrives and gets ready. But he was explaining that the ferry boat, though, it's 20 pesos. It takes about 10 minutes. That's it. So that's pretty cool. And this is where you come to catch all the boats in this little barangay here. It's a nice, sleepy little, little village here with some fishermen. Let's go down here. Looks more interesting, to be honest. Hello. Look at that. You got the old sewing machine there. You can repair anything. Oh, you're going to Iloilo? Fantastic. Just going to Iloilo. Hello. They're a little, uh, less, uh, yeah, yeah, they're more shy. 
Yeah, uh, a little less exuberant here. Blogger from Canadian, <laughs> from Canada. Hello guys, hello. There we go, there we go. And one woman's like, I'm going to Iloilo. I'm like, okay. Because when you know, I speak English, you know, yeah, some of Filipinos. Uh, oh, okay, I'm nose bleeding. Yeah, I nose bleed, like ears bleeding. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's okay. Yeah. yeah, well, one of these days, you know, I'll, I'll learn. Is, is this a Longo here? What? Or Hiligayan? Uh, a Longo. A Longo, okay. To find a hat for sale. We're gonna buy you a hat, my friend. Yeah, so, you don't, so you don't have to wear a towel on your head. <laughs> it's good, man. Hello. What do we got there? They got a you. Toward Changge. Yeah. Do you have three in one coffee? Oh, she's a customer. Somebody in there. three in one coffee come off. Oh, I got coffee there. Want to have coffee? Yeah. How much time do we have? Uh, I don't know. Ooh. Still not here, so. We got a few it's minutes. Okay. We got a few minutes. Yeah. Fantastic. Fifteen minutes. Okay. Yeah, only if you get a little hole there. You got a little hole. Hello. There we go. That's a little easier than trying to look through there. This. Oh, three in one. Oh. So we we got ourselves a speedboat. So I'm not taking. Uh, a pump boat here. We're, ta we're taking a speed boat. Look at that. That's a beauty. That's a municipality so boat. So this is awesome. Um, in order for them, you know, when they bring supplies or anything to that uh, barangay um, or the staff, they have to have a boat. So this works out good. Look at this. This is like luxury. <laughs> luxury. Everything happens for a reason. So we're going to there. You want that? Ahoy! Ahoy and ahua. Ahui. Ahui. Ahoy and Ahui. Fantastic. Look at this. Hi. Now this, this is Michael. Hello everybody. Michael from Canada. How are you guys? I'm okay. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay. Here. Alright. Oh, we got front seats. Let's go. This is Ban Ban. Enjoy Joy. Hello. And Tata Jury. Nice to meet you. Your Oh really? Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Wow, oh, that's where you got the good looks. <laughs> Guapo. Well, we didn't get very far until I lost my hat. It was uh, pretty darn quick. Yeah. Oh, so close, so close. <laughs> Spot that this morning, dude. It, it, it'd be fine, but uh, we don't want to litter, so. Use the pole. Well, that was a bit of a Seinfeld festival, was it? Or, or show, wasn't it? Yeah. We, we, we drank so many times, but thanks to Joy back there, she fit, she got it. The water here. Oops, sorry again. Look how clear the water is. Yeah, when the tide is gone, you can see a lot more. No, I don't think so. It's a big shell. Oh, big shell. That is so cool. Get right that close like that. I still got my feet wet, but that's all right. Hello, dogs. Hello. We're not breaking in, I promise. Oh, the shoes are so wet. There we go. Here's the manager. Fantastic, fantastic. Made in America. What part of America were you made in? from Canada. Oh, I'm from Canada. Uh, yes. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Nice I'm to meet Arman. you. Yes, Armin? Armin. Armin. Nice. Armin. Thank you very much. Yeah, this is beautiful in here. And you, I just, I noticed right away that you have air conditioning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so. Such a beautiful place. 
What a beautiful place. I hear you're Canadians, fellow Canadians. I had to come across the world to find some Canadians. Well, you may have been mistaken because I'm from England. Oh, they're mistaken. They, they called you a Canadian. They think we're all the same. But I do live in uh, Alberta. Oh, you live in Alberta. Oh, that still makes you a Canadian. It makes well, you a Canadian where, where, resident. Where are you guys from then? Well, I, I'm I'm alone. So they're they're just the uh, uh, tourism people from the uh, town. Oh, so they're yes. taking me around to show me the oh, place. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, but yeah, I just I live in Iloilo City now. Oh, really? Love love it. Yeah, my friend Rosita lives in Iloilo City. Hello, Rosita. What part of Iloilo City? Ahoy. No, Iloilo City. Yeah, in Iloilo City, which is Ahoy. This is Ahoy yeah. in Iloilo Province. Yeah. But I mean, you live in the city, no? No, no. Oh, oh, yeah. I think I we're you, mistaken. Well, yeah, yeah, she was. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay, but yeah. beautiful, beautiful place. Oh, thank you. Yeah, oh. and look at this water. Yeah. Just gorgeous. Other like a little bit of seaweed right now, but otherwise that's not garbage or anything. That's seaweed. Yeah. No, no. It's so beautiful. Here. We we came on a on a sightseeing just like you are. Really. And we went to that island. Don't yep. go there. Don't go there. Okay. And uh, and I said to Rosita, <laughs> we Rosita. come here for three nights. Yeah. And I and I'm going to come back every six months. And I want to come and stay here for two weeks. Wow. And then another island for two weeks, and come back for two weeks. Yeah, yeah. That's amazing. So I guess you're going to say you highly recommend this place. Highly recommend the yeah. food. Fantastic. Fantastic. That's great. And how was your room? Fantastic. Good. This is great. Yeah. This is great. That's amazing. And it, it's been cool at night. Did you even have to use the air conditioner or no? No, no. I didn't think so. Yeah, this is it's been just, cool. Just perfect. Yeah. And here you get a lot more breeze because you're on an island. Oh, yeah. This, yeah. And, and I have traveled extensively. I've been to Australia four times. I've been to the Caribbean eight to ten times. Wow. I was in Jamaica last February. Well, now, now you're only going to come to the Philippines. It's just paradise here. Well, you like the flights a long flight. Ah, sure. And I'm, yeah, yeah. I can highly recommend this. Highly recommend. Great to hear that. Great to hear oh, that. And you're having your buco juice right now. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah, 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 yeah. Coconut juice. All right. Well, I'm going to take a look at the other. It was such a oh, pleasure to yeah, meet oh, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we, both I, of you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I can highly recommend it. Perfect. That's okay, awesome so to hear. What was your name again? Sir? Michael. 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 Yeah. All right. My pleasure. Thank you, guys. Hey. Have a good day. Yeah, enjoy your trip. All right, let's go. I wanted to take a look. Is, yeah. there, is he here still? Or? Sir, I'm on, uh, can he he went to get you some coconut milk. Oh, I was going to say, can he let me look inside one of these? Yeah. Because that would be cool. cool. Let's go. I just don't know which ones are taken, which ones aren't, so I don't want to walk into their room, you know? This one idea, <laughs> if you want to book here, uh, they have a Facebook page. Okay. Uh -huh. And then you, you can add, uh, come here in. You want to uh, do you call that? Hey, okay, no. uh, just visit, and then you have to. Yeah, that's it. You have to book. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Just book on the Facebook page. Um, so yeah, this is like a little slice of paradise here. Like, look at this. Look at this peacefulness. Wow. So, uh, we're only two hours, I think they were saying, right? From the city, basically, an hour and 45 minutes. Um, so, yeah, you definitely want, if you're from this area, uh, you you know, my friends in Iloilo, with your families, you guys got to come out here and try this out. Um, and if you book online there, I have a feeling they'll make sure they'll arrange the boat for you and everything to get to the island so that you can come. Uh, I'll make sure, I'll find their Facebook. They're going to let me look in. Family, right. only room. This is the family room? Mm -hmm. Oh, I love the balcony here. See, you have the lights on and everything. Yeah. Look, you just get comfortable. Just get. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It's great. No, this is a beautiful balcony. You're looking right out, and oh yeah, it's a family room, all right. It's going to be a, uh, a big family. Good for four. Good for four. How much? Uh, Little drawer beds. I'm going to assume. Oh, it's locked. Okay, I guess there's a shower in there. It costs four or five. Uh, oh. uh, on the weekend and uh, uh, five, five, five on the weekend and four or five on the weekdays. Okay, there you go. And you can put four people in this one. Mm -hmm. Now, a lot of my uh, subscribers might just be a couple. So, if you got any that are perfect for that one bed type thing. This is uh, good for 10. Good for 10. 
No, it's not wet here, actually. <laughs> oh. oh, wow. <laughs> wow. All right, all right. For all you with your nine children, come on down. They, they got you. We got your. They got two CRs at the back. Yeah, yeah. Two CRs at the back. My feet just got wet. I don't want to walk through their floor, but 10. <laughs> 10 beds. That is absolutely enormous. So if you have a big group, and look at the size of your balcony and all your, your furniture that you'll have here. Wow. I guess this is big bed. Yeah, do you have, uh, so you do have ones like with one bed? Yeah, uh, almost uh, good for four. Oh but uh, we have, uh, uh, we can accommodate also good for two. Right, but, yeah. But uh, we have a bed, two bed in good for two. Okay, so there's two <laughs> beds in those ones. In case you fight, okay? You couples out yeah, there, yeah, yeah. you fight, you we can have, have each yeah. have a bed. <laughs> yeah. Not a problem, not no a problem. No problem. You like can it'll be already ready for you. You can change your bed anytime. Yeah, that's right. You can push them together, pull them apart. Yeah. <laughs> things happen what can I say that's the one that they took there um, and uh, so we can't show it but uh, that's the one with the two beds and they got a prayer area here oh where'd you say Mama Mary was yeah oh keep going keep going keep going oh there she is right over in the water I guess that's Mama Mary I don't know maybe and they even have like a swimming area, like the tide's out right now, I guess. For the, for, the, for the kids. For the kids. Oh, okay. Swimming area for the kids so that they don't, it doesn't get too deep. Fair enough. Uh, in the night. Oh, I bet. Do a night swimming here. Oh, I bet it uh, is. And you know, the great thing about this island is like some of them are just like a sandbar. There's not much shade, but here there's lots of shade. And that's fantastic because, you know, in the middle of the day, you, you don't, you don't want to be just sitting in the sun. It's so nice here. So the food apparently he said is really good, so that's a good sign. You don't have to read this. No, I meant for the rooms, if if it's a couple. He told us uh, how uh, much for the big one. Uh, we have uh, uh, for the couple. Oh. Uh, fun room is uh, fun room. weekdays is uh, three thousand, and then uh, weekend is uh, three thousand. 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 It's oh, and, then, oh, and then the dinner, yeah. 400 eats, and okay. then the breakfast is uh, free. Okay, mm -hmm. and the boat is included when you book? No. Yeah, yeah, uh, no, no, no. It's no, extra? No. How much? Uh, one five is small, and then our boat, if, uh, if it is uh, oh, a big it group, is, is two five. And one that's, three, that's three. total, so if there's two people, it's 750 yeah, yeah, for yeah. the one five. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so there you go. There's all the different rates in order, but this is their whole dining area. We got a little stage over here. I guess that's their kitchen over there, a whole bunch of CRs. Yeah, look at the size of their boat. Yeah, that's a big boat. So if you have a big group, they got you. And if you're just a couple people, don't worry, they got you too. Well, hello. I heard only good compliments uh, about your food from your only guest, but still, that's great. So what's your names? Charmaine, Jess Russell. Nice to meet you both. Good job, good job. Thank you. Subscribe. That's right. And they got St. Michael here? Is that St. Michael? <laughs> I don't know. Is it St. Michael? Yeah. yeah, of course it is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's St. Michael. Yeah, I, I carry with me. I don't have it on me at the moment because it's my bag, but I have a St. Michael that my mother gave me. This one is uh, good for six. Good for six? Wow, you get a lot of big groups here. And look at that. You can get right in the mangroves there yeah. mm -hmm. and you can sit out there. It's so cool. You should uh, book in your group. Yeah. Wow, you even get your own table and everything. I'm trying not to dirty the floor, so I'm just going to... It's quite nice. Quite big. This is like a big house. This is beautiful. So you have a walking path all the way around the whole yeah. island? So you can go hiking? Uh, it's about uh, 0.96 kilometer around. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's a good distance and it's yeah. be nice to uh, do, especially at sunset. Much better it's uh, you walk uh, every morning. <laughs> or, or you, well, early yeah. in the morning early or, in the morning. or 4 p.m. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you, know, you might die of exhaustion at this heat right now. <laughs> ah, it's so beautiful. We're kidnapping the British people there, uh, well, in the Filipino. Uh, you, we're going to take them to other islands day. just for the heck of it. In Australia, Dan. It was we cool. The tourism to people said, hey, do you want to come? So they're going to come. More the merrier. It's gonna be great. We were chatting for a long time. I had coffee and a buco juice. And uh, yeah, 
he, he's such a great guy. Such a great guy. And uh, just to hear his stories from Alberta. Yeah. We have arrived. So this is their largest uh, barangay on an island. 500 people approximately, as they said. And uh, they do have a generator here. The barangays have generators, so they do have some electricity close to the shore so you can get signal. And uh, yeah, everybody here obviously, obviously makes their money from fishing. What's the name of the barangay again, my friend? Nasidman Island. Barangay. Nasidman Island. Nasidman Barangay. Nasidman? Yeah, Nasidman. All right, and uh, like I said, we kidnapped the, the UK from uh, Calgary, or Alberta, I should say. Hello, guys. So it turns out it's his uncle, Axel's uncle here, is the barangay captain. And of course, look at that, they got a gym right away. Multi purpose court. Oh, ex captain. Okay, okay, fair enough. Hello, guys. Basketball, gotta have basketball. Let's go. Just meet the barangay captain. Capitana, I'm captain. Capitana. Oh, okay. Yes. Her. Capitana. Capitana. All right. My uncle was the ex. Okay, okay, that's all right. That's all right. So not the family anymore, but that's fine, that's fine. Capitana. I forgot. Hello, Mom. Hello. Hello, everybody. Hello. Hello, everybody. Oh, New York oh, from Canada. Just bring your slippers. Uh, it's okay now. There's so much sand on my feet. Yeah. My goodness. So you're the barangay captain now? I am the barangay captain. Captain, yeah. yeah. The barangay captain. Capitana. Capitana. Hello. Yeah. My name is Michael. Hello. I'm. Good I'm. I'm already very impressed. Uh, everything is kind of neat and organized here on your island. I really love it. Hello, uh, we found this guy on an island and we brought him over here. Isn't that cool? We, we just find people and we just drag them from island to island. That's amazing. It's amazing. We're both from Canada now. Oh, he's UK, but he's uh, Canadian now. Honorary and Canadian. Anyway, so yeah, this has been such a cool trip so far, and it, we're only like part way into the day. This is so beautiful. So you have about 500 people here? 400 plus. 400 plus? Okay, 400 plus. I think voters is like 350, right? And then the rest is children, and because that's what they're telling me. The mayor told me there's 350 voters. Yeah, yeah. That's right? the election. Yeah. So that means with the kids and that kind of thing, it would be a little bit bigger. Wow, amazing. How big is the island? Around one hectare. Uh, Sorry? Maybe it's uh, 24 hectares. 24 hectares. Okay, so it's actually a pretty pretty good size island. 50 acres. Yeah, there you go, 50 acres. I got my mathematician with me. <laughs> Fantastic. See, that's why we brought you up. We knew, we knew you'd do these answers. Okay, Fantastic. Let's enjoy our Apple. island. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, we'll go for a little walk. Yeah. Thank you. Hello. Hello. All right. Let's see. They got a slam dunk here. Dunk. 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 Oh, almost a three pointer. Woo. Oh, come on. Yeah. Uh, hello, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Michael, nice to meet you. He knows all the history in here. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow, okay. When when did this island get first inhabited? I started the Barangay Official from 1994 up to, up to now. Okay, 1994. But people lived here before 94? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah long time. A long time. Yeah, a long time. So the the but the beginning of the uh, the government was 1994 here. No. Oh no. So beginning of it being a barangay. Be being a barangay from 1960s, pa. Oh, 1960s. Okay, very good. Very cool. Well, well, well. And uh, honestly, like 
you would a lot of times people imagine that it would be a lot dirty or whatever but no look look how clean this is and pretty like the flowers here it's kind of organized i'm i'm really impressed it's quite nice in here your questions Oh yeah, don't worry about it. This is the former burger captain's house. Oh, so this is your uncle's house? Oh uh, yeah. Wow, he's see. got a nice house, my friend. <laughs> oh, too the, bad. the view here. What's too bad? Uh, the the the, the ugami is the no, the the fish. No, oh. the tabaco. Oh. Fish. Yeah. It's okay. I've seen it a million of many times. It's all good. Mm -hmm. It's all good. I think it's uh, siesta time right now, though. Yeah. There's nobody out. Nobody out and about. When it's hot. It's yeah, it's hot. You stay inside. Out. Or you go out in the water. Mm -hmm. The breezes are strong. There's a big house there, uh, owned by a foreigner. I don't know what that name is. You got a foreigner living on this yeah. island? Wow. The big house above the hill. Wow. Mm -hmm. Right up on the top of the hill. Yeah, maybe we can look it up. But those foreigners, my goodness. <laughs> Too many foreigners here. <laughs> Too many. What do you yeah. got? Three? <laughs> Three in the whole uh, city? <laughs> Town? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I don't know how many are. And what's this gate up ahead? Is that yeah. the school? Yeah. Oh, okay. Elementary yeah. school. Military school. Yeah, elementary. Yeah. Elementary. Yeah. elementary. Okay. I used to military, I was a little shocked there. I was like, wow, they, no. Urgh, no wonder they're so well behaved. <laughs> oh yeah, so here's some of the, there is some people out. They got some kids running around. Mm -hmm. Otherwise it seems very quiet, but look at all these beautiful little peaceful houses in here. And a big sorry, sorry. Oh, they're locking the gate. Locking There's the a gate. white guy coming. <laughs> Look at that foreigner! Quick, <laughs> run away! Run away! Yes. Run! Oh run! <laughs> oh, there's a, there's a... <laughs> oh, that's funny. They actually did run away too. Hello. Hello. Good afternoon. Good so this is the the school. Elementary school. All right. Yeah. So nice get, nice school like here. I get done about. All right, well, we made our way through, but really everybody's either out on the sea, um, you know, fishing or out and about getting supplies, that kind of thing, or they're all sleeping right now, yeah, having a sleeping. nap, you know? Filipino sleeps every, uh, every afternoon. Hello, brother. No. Hello. No. <laughs> the kids here, it's really difficult to even get them to say hello. We had the two, but I didn't have the camera on. Uh, all the other ones are like, no, no. Don't say no. No. Uh, lots of dried fish going on right here. That's the tabaga. The sardines, right? Sardines, yeah. There you go, dried it's sardines. Dried. Yeah, yeah. It's a delicacy. Yeah. Hello, good afternoon. Um. <laughs> you want to talk innovation here, okay? We got a solar panel running to a solar power fan with a USB port to charge the phone. That's ingenious. <laughs> Seriously, yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. You, so you can charge your phone yeah. with a fan. Just don't use the fan, and you're good. Hello. Put your head. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Tall guys. Did yeah. wait? You didn't. You didn't crouch. I'm, I'm a small guy. Yeah. I'm five eight. Wow. Five here's seven. a big, big group Hi. of people. Hello, everybody. Hi. Good afternoon. Hi. How is everybody? Hi. Good. A vlogger from Canada. Oh, uh, vlogger ni siya. May YouTube, uh, YouTube ano siya channel. Uh, that's that's Philippine life. Yes. So, uh, balik din na siya guys star subong sa Philippines. They he goes around the Philippines uh, to see our culture. Uh, to see our culture, yeah. Yep. Culture, the people. We found uh, them laying out the sardines. Uh, first process. You have to catch and then you have to catch and then dry. dry it's not really a hard process though is it no no you have to put salt first salt oh, and then you dry oh you salt them first okay and you gotta wash them i guess yeah. but wait aren't they saltwater fish they're probably covered in salt yeah but it's the it's the way oh, okay right we've arrived on the rocky shores of parola island and this island there's nobody living on it or anything but 
And as you can see, look at all those rocks. Um, but this one has the lighthouse. So we get to climb to the top of those lighthouse. Yeah. So this uh, lighthouse guardhouse sort of thing here, it has some real history in it. In that, wow, this is, these flip flops are too slippery for me. I tried these new ones. Thanks to Alex, by the way. Thank you, Alex. But uh, when they get wet, they're really slippery. Uh, there's a structure up here from 1892 when the Spanish had like a guardhouse lookout point here. Okay, so here you go. There is a lighthouse right up there. Gates even open. But this is from 1892 and look at how cool this looks. You know, we, that's a thing, a sad part of the Philippines is a lot of really old buildings just don't exist anymore after World War II. Um, but this one still stands. And you get a piece of this history like this. Look at the architecture on it, incredible. Considering it was just like a guard house in the middle of nowhere. Wow. Absolutely so cool. You have to go inside. All right, let's do it. We climb over this. Oh, we, I think we're supposed to walk the other way. Oh, like prenuptial before you get married. He's like, this is where I'm going to send you if you divorce me. <laughs> this will be your new home. <laughs> wow, this is so pretty though. Seriously, this must have been like a mansion. Not what I was expecting at all. And those, like the furnace is in there. It has underground in it. It has underground? Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, one sec. So incredible. I wish. Wow, there is. Yeah. So they bunkers? Mm -hmm. Jeez. It has treasure in it. Treasure? Uh, buried. All right. <laughs> Who's ready? Who's ready to start digging? <laughs> Incredible. Incredible place. Like, seriously, like, did not expect this at all. Like, a lot of these things that like you see this are reconstructed or they're built in the 1900s sometime. There are people digging back there. Oh, there they were people were, trying to dig? Yeah. Uh, but trying were, to find the basement. They were get arrested. Yeah, I bet they did. Mm -hmm. But I see what you mean. You can do some cool pictures because of these yeah. windows with the vines on both sides. Like that right frame. there. Like a frame. Yeah, it does look like a frame. That would be a really cool picture for the other side where you don't have the mm -hmm. cables. Yeah, I mean, uh, fence. And the tree is Alcon. It's called Lokon. I don't know what the English is. <laughs> it's crazy. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. How it just like became part of the wall. It's amazing. It's amazing. Have you been here before? Yes. You've been here lots of times? Yeah. What's this? Uh, like an old cannon? Maybe? Yeah, or that, or a cannon, I was thinking. <laughs> because see, it's steel reinforced. Yeah. Like really heavy. But maybe a telescope, yeah. It's hard to see now because of all this, but it would be wide open before. And even they have proper tile in here considering how old that would have been and to put that kind of money on a place like this they must have stationed somebody of note of some court kind in this building or they wouldn't have made it this nice looking but these trees that literally take over part of the wall are incredible i should be saying grabi grabi instead of just saying wow all the time i'll just say grabi in it. Grabby in it. Grabby in it. It's too hot. In it? Grabby. Grabby. Oh, it's too hot. Grabby in it. <laughs> oh, that's too hot? Yeah. Okay. Grabby in it. It's, wow, it's too hot. Wow, it's too hot. Grabby in, Grabby in it. Well, the breeze is nice. So, grabby breeze. Oh. Yeah. Look at that. Look at this one on the corner here. I swear it looks like something a Holly would have made <laughs> because it's just taken over. I know the lights on that side, but the entire corner here and it just finds the water, everything and nutrients, and it just is way up on top of a rock. Some type of rock. Yeah. It's amazing. 
Wow, wow, wow. This is such a cool place. Such a cool place. We're back at Morbuena, and uh, time to uh, say goodbye to our new friends. Hey, hey, Listen, guys, it was so cool to meet you, and I'm so glad uh, you were here when we popped in because it made it so much more interesting. Got to hear some perspective. That was amazing. Thank you, and thank you for your night. I oh. wish you good health, and, and may God be with you, my friend. You as well. God bless both of you. And there we go. There's one of the boats that you get. At, well, it's only like 20 pesos. So it's a little slower, but can't beat the price, right? Not at all. See you later, guys. Bye. Ahoy. Ahoy, ahoy. Ahoy, ahoy. Ahoy, ahoy. Ahoy, ahoy. Well, we're back at the city. Hello, everybody. Hi. Good afternoon, was it? All right, so we're back here because I have to use CR and I thought I would just like check out a little bit more of the town. Now that it's later in the afternoon, more people come out. Yeah. It's not so hot. In case you were wondering, uh, they, they seem to have captured quite a few of the beautiful people here in this city or town, this town. So uh, yeah, if you're wondering where all the beautiful people are. Ascenso Ascenso Ahoy! They're all here. They're all here. Oh, You're gonna sing? Yeah. <laughs> Let's. Let's sing. Sing. Oh, oh, hey. That's it. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. I don't remember the rest. Cause you guys always give three names. I'm like, yeah. why don't you just tell me your first name? <laughs> yeah. Hello, everyone. What's your name, attorney? I'm attorney Nikki Kamanso. And what do you do here at the city? I'm the municipal administrator of the municipal of So you're kind of like a big boss. Kind of. Kind of. She is. She is the boss girl. All right, boss girl. Everybody listens to what she says. That was a lot of fun. And listen, if you are like when I heard that five to ten pesos per square meter, yeah, I'm sure all your ears went, wait, what? Anyway, a suggestion by one of the people there were come and see the mayor before you buy any land talk about buying whatever just make sure he knows you are and that way they can watch out so make sure you don't run into any trouble or get scammed is what i was suggested so that's probably a good suggestion just to make sure that you know because they'd rather you just move here that's the biggest part they just want you to move here and uh, come and enjoy their town and not have a bad experience along the way not that there might be you know may not be just in case all right, we got the uh, ice cream guy here too. What do you got there, brother? Oh, you're running out. Oh, you're almost sold out. Wow, popular ice cream, popular ice cream. I wanted an ice cream too, but that was it. He was scooping the last bit for that girl there and uh, there's no more. How sad, but good for him. That's good. Just still kind of like checking out the rest of the town. I am going to Hilltop for dinner. It's a really nice place uh, for dinner if you're coming to this area. So, how are you guys? Okay, I'm fine. Good. Doing good? My own happen? Um, anyway, so, uh, yeah, so apparently I gotta check that place out. Everybody recommended it. We'll go do it. But it's a little too early yet. It's like 3.30, so I'm just uh, checking out, see what else is left here. Interesting place for a pawn shop, though. I thought it was a house, but nope. Pharmacy, pawn shop, and bread and butter. Hello, girls. Lots of bread and butter. What do we got down here? Oh, it's like oh, streets with houses. Somebody's honking a horn. It's <laughs> trying to get my attention, I think. How many towns have I been to all over the Philippines, right? Philippines people are just so amazing no matter where you go. It's not like, oh, that's because you were in that town. No. Oh, it doesn't matter where you go. Everybody's so kind and wonderful. Oh, this one's also wood. That's cool. I mean, it might be the same family because the other one's across the street over there. So it makes sense. I think I stumbled upon their market. I'm not sure. These are all calderis here with all kinds of foods. But I saw there was a lot of people up here, so maybe. Wow, this guy's got a huge dirt bike. Oh yeah, definitely. Definitely their market. Yeah, lots of fish over there, but I'm gonna go this way. 
go. Hello everybody, my own Hapon. Hello, my own Hapon. Hello. Oh. Okay, I guess I should have went the other way. My bad. That's why I couldn't see it because of that construction. The uh, oh, there's some over here actually. Uh, the construction kind of hides this, I think. Oh yeah, look at that. It's all shaded too. But once the new market is done, everybody will be in there. Hello, good morning or good afternoon. My young happen. Hello. Yeah, you can pretty much get anything here. Hello, my young Hapon. Hello. Shoes, lots of shoes. Oh, is that a photo studio in the market? Look at that setup. Hello, how are you? Look at that. Good luck. My young Hapon. Oh, it's getting tight in here now. There we go. Barely fit. You know, it might be a little tight in here, but I kind of like it. Nice and shaded. Hello, everybody. Hello. I like it. This is the kind of place you want to shop anyway. You go to the malls, you have to pay over, way overpriced. And I guess the good thing for them, and there is the mall in this town, this is the place where you got to go shopping. Here are the little grocery stores they have throughout the place. But none of the uh, big department stores are making the money here. The money's kept local. Take the next right, then turn right. guys are catching fish here so this is the Yapsonville subdivision and uh, I don't know how long it's been here or anything like that but you know there's like six seven eight nine ten homes I think in the whole thing this one's real nice he's got waterfront property right on the there I saw it as we were coming by on the boat so that's a really really hot spot and then I guess there's still lots here but you do have to fill these are filled but you can see where the fill is here, but you can see that it's kind of swampy there. It would definitely have to have be raised up quite a bit, because you certainly don't want to have a house at that level. Um, but anyway, so they do have a subdivision here, and like the mayor had already mentioned how much the subdivision is. So yeah, and, and then you got beautiful mountains on this side. It's really a nice spot. And uh, one day I'm sure there'll be a lot more houses in here than your neighbors, but still, it's a nice little neighborhood. I am definitely on the hilltop. So this is a bit of a steep drive to get up there, but you can get up to that one. I just went all the way because, well, I've got the beast, of course. And let's see, it looks really pretty from the street. Looks like the view up here is probably super stunning. We got an entrance fee here, 20 pesos to come up and check the place out. Hello. 20 pesos. Yes, sir. All right. Oh, you want my name too? Yes, sir. All right. You want to know where I'm born or where I live? Where you're born. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So they need to know where you were born. They don't care where you live. I thought that was interesting. All right. So, so it's a bit of a, like a, I don't know. You have to give me your number and everything. So I don't know if it's like a security risk or something. Unusual. Okay, so see, you can see they have all the tables up above, down below here. Everybody's got this amazing view. You order the food back over here, and I guess drinks over here. And yeah, you get to look out at everything. Oh, there's some tables down here too. Look at this. 
What an ideal location. Sir, Ooh. what is your nationality, sir? I'm Canadian. How are you? Yes, uh, my name is Jeannie Leonardo. Jeannie? Michael. Nice to meet you. Michael. Pleasure, pleasure. You live here? Sure. You're local? Live? Awesome. So, yeah, it's... Uh, it's definitely probably really amazing at night too because I can see they do have lighting all over the place. They've got all this lighting over here, you know, hanging down. So that'd be really nice. Hi guys. Hi. My own Hapon. What a beautiful place. Yeah. Stunning here. Oh wow, you can see the port down there where they load the big trucks on for the Roro to go over to Negros. I'm gonna go see what the view is up top. Oh yeah, look at that. You can go like everywhere down here. Hell top. Oh. Oh, not quite for my height yet. Hello, my own headphone. Hello, little brother. What's your name? What's your name? What is your name? Kristen? Alistair. Alistair. Oh, Alistair. I love that name. That's a cool name. What's your name? It's Asher. Asher. Asher? Ooh, you guys both got cool names. <laughs> Shout out to the parents. By the way, look at that. What is that? It's Lumi. That looks crazy delicious. Really? <laughs> Try it. Oh, it's yeah. a Philippine food. Yeah, I, I don't think I've had a Lumi. I thought it was going to be like bat joy or something, but no. It's Lumi. And is it the type of noodles? Is that why they're Lumi yes, noodles? Yes. Makes sense, makes Different sense. Type of Looks really, really good though. <laughs> Terrific. Fantastic. Enjoy everyone. Thank you. Okay, here's the prices. <laughs> and if you notice there on the menu, everything is priced uh, in groups, right? So you, three to four uh, per order it feeds. So don't come here alone unless you are ridiculously hungry and can eat a gigantic bowl. So that bowl that we saw they were eating, that's an order. And the prices are really reasonable. Divide that by three or four people, 100 pesos per person, that kind of thing. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Well, I don't have any small dishes, so I, I don't think I'm going to eat. It is. I'm just not hungry. I'm just not hungry. Uh, I'll have to uh, find out what the food's like when I actually have a group to come here with, uh, you know, maybe, maybe you guys will come out, somebody. Anyway, uh, so for now, I'm going to do the long drive back. This was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed my time. What a cool town, really cool town. And wow, the land prices here, absolutely great, great. And the people, everything, everything was great. Everything was great. Highly recommend this town, guys. It happened to the last ten. I ran away with my life, fast forward, never turn back again.